<laughs> yeah. Y'all already know the vibes, man. K Kilo and Carla G with that bad host. We live in lit. It's your favorite chocolate baddie, Mary J. And I got Drake Benz in the building. Yo, what's the word, gang? Y'all know what it is, man. Yeah, man. How you feeling? Man, I feel good, man. Finally here, man. Let's get it, man. Finally, man. man Second time is a charm. You already know. I just want to say I appreciate you for sliding. You, you know, already know. Yeah, I'm It's good. crazy. It's raining again. The Hell rain yeah. tried to knock us out of hot glow last week. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And then it's raining day. again. But we here. We made it. Yep. Yep. Period. And that's Let's just get it. on that. Um, now, first of all, I would just like to say I've been kind of seeing you on the music scene for quite some time now. Appreciate you it. You are not a new newbie when it comes to this music shit. Hell no. Nah. A lot of people be thinking like I'm fresh in this shit, but really I've been doing this shit for a minute. So a let's, long time. Let's, let's talk about it. Um, you, you about like what? Five, seven years in the gang? Or? No, I said longer than that. I've been doing it. Damn, no. Like, I've been doing it since, like, I was in high school. That was, like, 2013, 2014. Yeah, I've been doing it about 10 years. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. What inspired you to actually, like, want to get into music and start, like, dropping singles, taking this shit serious? Um, Like, uh, I went to school with people. And I used to, uh, you know, edit their music, shoot their videos, and, like, seeing them do it. And then around the time, the drill scene was, you know, getting high and shit. So, like, that kind of, like, motivated me, too. And, like, I'm seeing everybody do it. I'm like, shit, I can do it, too. But I was already doing it. But it was, like, I was more, like, in the cut. Like, I don't know why I was shy, like, telling people, like, I did music back then. But, like, um, I've been doing it. But it's, like, seeing everybody around me do it, it just made me want to do it even more. So, yeah, that's pretty much what, like, motivated me. And then, like, my uncle and shit, like, he used to rap. Like, my stepdad, he rapped. So, like, just everybody in my family, like, was, like, in tune with music. So, like, it was, like, it was destined for me to, like, do it pretty much. For sure, I feel, Hell that. Yeah. I feel that. Now I seen you say something in one of your interviews um, about actually the Chicago drill scene, and we was just talking about it Hell with yeah. Franzi. And I think you said something like, "You know, this was popping right now, so it's kind of like you gotta like ride the wave to at least get some sort of attention." Do you still feel that way in 2023 with like how hip hop has just like? Cause you said it a couple years ago, like mm -hmm. when the drill scene first kind of like was popping and that was like all the and like yeah the drill scene's still on but do you still feel like as a chicago artist you know what i'm saying we have to keep up with this drill wave in order to like be noticed um yeah and no just as some fact like I, I don't really be into the, like the drill wave i mean i listen to it and shit but like i ain't you know finna be <clears throat> making a whole drill song but yeah and no because it's like it's different artists out there that I see less, not even like really drill type shit. You know, they got their own wave going and everything. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you still got the people that still doing it. You know, you know, that's gonna always be in Chicago because, you know, that's like, that's what we kind of like known for. But it's like, you know, you still got that different wave of people, you know? Yeah, facts, facts, facts. Now, what do you think about the the current state of hip hop in 2023? What's your opinion about it? Um, shit, I don't know. It's like, I kind of just pay attention uh, on some real shit. Like, I really just, like, still listen to, like, underground now. Like, I, I don't know. I just feel like the industry kind of watered down. I ain't even trying to mm, find my shit. Okay, like, okay. You still Talk got... Talk to us about it. Like, I just feel like everybody just copying the wave, trying to mimic what other motherfuckers do. You know, especially with us. You know, like, motherfuckers really try to copy everything Chicago do. But, you know, I don't know why nobody want to give us our credit and shit, you know. But shout no, out to all the facts, Chicago artists, no, for real, facts. though. You know, you said something now because I was definitely... I was definitely... I used to live in Atlanta. And right. I stayed out there for uh, like three years. Yeah, but that's different with Atlanta. Y'all got y'all long wave. Like, like can't nobody no, ever take that from y'all. But it's people out there that want to be like Chicago too. Yeah, like, that's true. Yeah. In the past three years, like I just came back to Chicago mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, with like drill being like a real big thing, it's absolutely like. So I it got to the point I didn't even want to tell people I was from Chicago no more. I'm just like I'm from Illinois. <laughs> I, I don't want to be from Chicago no more because as soon as you say it, it's like they automatically want to try to prove a point or. Like, oh, you from a certain hood, yeah, or that like, is true. they just act weird, like, versus, yeah, like, if I don't sell somebody too. from Chicago, yeah. they be themselves, but, like, as soon as you tell a person from Chicago, it's, like, a whole different thing, like, oh, let me yeah, that's real oh, let me try this new, oh, let me, uh, like, yeah, it's just, like, damn, G, let us breathe, you nah, feel me, and I do feel like mainstream, the mainstream industry don't give us our flowers, because we do start a lot of the trends, the yeah. slang, you feel me? Um, That's the real music, shit. the culture, like just being in our own different lane, just in general. Nah, for real. Like we started, we started some no other city, 
stayed nothing. Like, nobody ever did, like, the shit we was doing. So it's like, I don't know why nobody want to give us credit because it's like, like, you really pay attention to, like, the mainstream. You really see it. Like, they really, like, do some of the shit like we was already doing type shit. I ain't going to say everybody, but I'm going to say, you know, a couple artists. And, like, I don't know. Like, it's just, I don't know. The music just, like, all over the place. Now, you don't know what everybody want to do because, like, this shit changing, like, so quick. Like, yeah. it ain't nothing consistent. That's why when people play, like, certain songs now, they just be like, like, damn, you still listen to that? Like, I don't know. I don't put no date on no song, but it's like people stop listening to certain songs so quick. Like, they don't let them ride no more. Like, that's because they're I not making that. timeless music. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that's the word I was looking making, for. Yeah. You making music that's timeless, it don't matter when. Like, this young man just brought up Queen. Y'all you know who Queen is? The rock band? I don't even know. Like, if you probably name a song, like, I probably know. That's some old school stuff. That's some stuff my mama listened to. <laughs> I, I, I probably can't even think of it right but, now. But stuff like that is mm -hmm. like um, timeless music. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know who Young Pappy is? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, in the yeah. beginning, a killer, when they be like, she's a killer. Oh, that's queen. her? That's queen. That's oh, queen. I never knew that. Band. I knew it was. Like, my fault, y'all. They flag my shit. Talking about I don't own the rights to the music. <laughs> Smoking dope, I'm dabbing. Fast car, I'm dashing. Brought a friend with her, she wrote me like a boy. Level up like Super Saiyan, so high like a kite. Come on, but I'm in love. You show no love to others, but ain't not my brother. It's so hard. It's too deep to go with the squad. She just my car. You broke the floor and left me in audio. I feel like I'm feeling like I'm getting something free. Hey, 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 hey. Sean Tizzle, what's the word? Shout out my boy Trap. Shout out my boy Troy. What's the word, gang? Me and Trap, me and Trap got something coming out the cut real soon. Y'all better be in tune with it. What's up? Y'all go tap in with the music. You already know, my boy. Turn this shit right up, my boy. You already know when I get out there, we shooting that video, boy. What's good, bro? Hope all is well. Tell that nigga Oliver I said, what's up? Hey, Miss Jessica in here, what's up? You already know my boy. Y'all yeah, go stream party on all streaming platforms. It's out. Tap in. Go stream Glacier. You already know we do. Hey, we gonna do that. Uh, what's the name? Over. I forgot what that shit. That dome. We gonna do that over. You already know my boy. Everybody go stream that shit. Go stream Glacier. Hit the bio. Go tap in with my EP. Retro EP. Out on all streaming platforms. Apple Music, YouTube. You already know. Boy, you here with Retro Gear. Shout out my boy B Money. Yeah. We got some shit dropping. Y'all go tune in with our shit. On go. This shit had like, you know, like 2,000 views. Go leave a comment or something. You know, shit be happening, so, you know, I can't really, like, venture off into that. But, like, I'm trying to do anything. Anything that's going to get some money, that's going to, you know, bring something my way, you know I'm trying to do it. I don't, I don't care. What's the best song you've recorded to date? Like, the best song you received the most support on to date? Uh, talking about in, in this year? This year? Ever. Ever? To date. Uh, I'll probably say party. Party, like, okay. I know everybody fuck with party, um... Every time I do my Spotify rap, they say that's my most streamed song. So I'd probably say Party is like probably my best song as of okay. now. And we did just play that a little earlier. Hell yeah. Y'all yeah, go tune in with back that back too. too. Yeah, go tune in with run that. Back after this break. Yep. But okay, okay, okay. How how old is Party? Like when did you release that one? Uh, 2019. So that shit been out for a minute. So okay. yeah, y'all go run that up. Run the views up. Keep running it up. What's the studio session like with you? Like, do you have any must haves you got to have in the studio with you? Um, probably some weed. I ain't gonna lie, some funny ass people. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel that heavy on weed. Yeah, but <laughs> not anymore though. Probably like back then when we was like going to uh, private stuff. Shout out Mark. He used to be my uh, uh, beats at night. 
Uh, he used to be my uh, engineer. Shout out to him. So, you know, he really, like, helped me, like, find myself in this shit with my voice and, like, just watching him, like, edit music and shit. So, like, shout out to him. So, uh, even back then, like, we always used to be in the studio smoking, you know, talking shit, cracking jokes, all that type of shit. So, I'd probably say, like, yeah, back then, that's what I like in the studio. I ain't gonna lie. Weed and good vibes. Hell yeah, pretty much, yeah. I did that. Hell I yeah. I did that. Okay, now, with you um, being in the game again, like, for for some time... I was kind of arguing with somebody about this topic a couple of days ago. How do you feel like there should be an age gap being like a, a age cap on being a rapper? Like, dude. Retro, retro, retro. Y'all know what it is, man. All stars. Man, y'all already know what time it is. I'm going to put Dre in the hot seat. Oh, man. Is you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Come on. I don't think you're ready. We got to take a <laughs> pregame shot. Let's do it. Oh boy, that shit rough. So, as usual, we got 60 seconds to see how many questions you can answer under the pressure. All right. No pressure. Uh-huh. I just don't like plead the fifth. All right. All right, if you plead the fifth, you definitely got to take a shot. Oh, man. Yeah. Let's get it. All right, let me get my timer set now. Hey, you lost your virginity. What, age? Mm-hmm. Uh, 15. Funniest thing you've done when you was drunk or high? 